what makes good practice? Because there are people who practice a lot, they put in a lot of hours, but their skills don't improve or improve much. So what, what makes good practice for you? Very, very, very good question, Tim. First of all, I, I say practice does not make perfect. So they say practice makes perfect. No, practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Right. You can practice something wrong when you've done it's perfectly wrong. And I see it in my industry all the time. They'll practice a second deal in some awkward fashion where uh, the most common one is a strike second. And I'll give a visual clue uh, a picture. The card is turned face up on the deck. They'll, they'll hold, first of all, usually they hold the deck in real tight, what's called a mechanics grip or a real deep grip and I'll lighten up the grip a little bit. And then um, when they go to take the card, they'll bypass the card they're taking so they can hit the second card and deal it out. And, and that this, t this is the standard second deal that you'll see people do, mm -hmm. but it has all kinds of tells. It has a lot of tells. First of all, you're pushing the top card over to receive it with the other hand. So why is the right thumb bypassing the left thumb? And it's because so they has exposure of the top of the deck where that second card is to get a hold of it. That is a totally unnatural action, but you'll see it all the time. And then, and then, and then you don't have a dead deck. Uh, one of Vernon's students and who became a peer of Vernon's was a guy named Tar Charlie Miller who I had the privilege of spending time with. And they grew up all through the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 80s. And uh, Miller talks about a dead deck. When you're dealing the top card, everything below it, there's no movement. Uh. And so if there's movement being made, when you're taking the second card out and the top card is going back, you don't have a dead deck. You have movement of two different movements. The second card coming out, the top card going back. Now watch my second deal. There's, the, there's no, I'm not, I'm not crossing the thumbs at all, and my left thumb is, uh, uh, there's no leaking of the card right. at the other, other corner, and I'm not going anywhere near the top of the deck. And this, um, that particular second deal, I, I have practiced well, I've done it in front of a live audience about five million times, and in practice, I've done it over a hundred million times, that one move. And I, I proclaim, or I say that it's probably the most difficult move in all of sleight of hand, because there's only two, three other people that are getting it down, and one guy's been working on it after he, after he watched my videos for 30 years now. And, uh, but it just takes a long time. But anyway, I get off off a track. Practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Same thing with in the martial arts. Mm -hmm. You know, you throw a side kick. You other know, people they'll swoop the kick up as they go. You lift it and you shoot it in like a like a like a blade. Like a you practice it wrong, you sit there practice it wrong and you're done. It's it's not wrong. It's perfectly wrong. Yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> and then there's another thing I, I, I like to say um, uh, uh, discipline breeds discipline. Uh, they say, how do you put in time? And when I'm telling people when they want to train or something, I say, the more you do something, the more you can do of it. Discipline breeds discipline. Mm -hmm. You do something, and then the more you're able to do it, and the better you do it. And, so, and then they say, well, I just can't run a marathon. I say, don't run a marathon. Right now, I want you to just walk down the distance of two houses and walk back. Make it so easy, you can't talk yourself out of it. Right. The next day, walk the distance of three houses, come back. Then the next day, jog down the distance and come back. And then eventually, your body starts adapting to the habit, and those endorphins start getting released. And then after a certain period of time, it's like, will you get back in the house? Does it have to be a marathon? You know. <laughs> so discipline breeds discipline. I love and that. Perfect practice makes perfect.